there is a global water crisis. Climate change leads to water scarcity. And as a result, one out of three people are lack lacking access to fresh water. And this is also happening to water-safe countries like Sweden, which has been going through a drought for the last three years. In order to fight this crisis, the United Nations devised a set of global goals. And one of them relates to water technologies, and in particular to desalination, which is a good way to get fresh water from seawater. Now, the challenge here is rather complex because it involves several disciplines, from environmental sciences to social sciences, industry and engineering. And of course, basic research, where the topic is how you can separate water and salt. Our approach is the cryodesalination, so how to produce fresh water by freezing seawater. So you have a cold plate in cold tank with the seawater, and by cooling, the ice naturally pushes out the salt. Then you separate those two, and by warming up the ice, you produce the fresh water. Now, most of the energy required for the cooling and the heating can be recovered. But the step that is the limiting factor on how much fresh water you can recover is related to the separation. If you look at it with a microscope, you can zoom in a million times. And what you see is that there are small brine pockets that are forming. So this is like uh, water with a lot of salt in it, trapped inside the ice. Now, our idea is to zoom in a billion times using x-rays and look down to the level of molecules where you can distinguish between liquid water, ice, and salt, shown here as these uh, blue balls. So the dream is to do an experiment that you can actually see how the salt water is freezing in real time as it, free as it happens and salt is pushed out. Because if you are able to see down to this level, then you can improve the desalination efficiency. And of course, this is, requires interdisciplinary action. So we will collaborate with our friends at Social Sciences and use the Stockholm area as a case study with engineering to develop hybrid technology, industry for a commercial solution, and of course, with environmental sciences to make it sustainable. And the goal is to make more safe and cheap water for the Nordics, where there's a lot of cold climate, lots of seawater, and with low salinity, and of course, eventually in a global scale, because it is energy effective, it requires low resources, and it can be sustainable. Because only when the well is dry, we will know the true value of water. Thank you. Great, thank you, Fivos. So it seems that there are some benefits from living up in the north after all. That's, yeah. Um, now, it's time for a final jury question. Um, Miri Koche, would you like to ask Fivo something? Sure, thank you. That was um, really interesting. And I'm wondering um, how your social studies in Stockholm will inform your scientific studies of the salt and water, or salt and ice separation. Thank you. It's very important to interact very closely with the social sciences. So the goal is, on a social level, to examine the landscape and see, with the current technologies, whether it would be suitable, for example, to have like on a household level devices, or it would be more on an industrial level. And would that be in the cities, or would it be more, for example, in the Stockholm archipelago? Then you can inform the engineering, and then the engineering can devise, can make according devices that can be more, for example, for your boat, or can be more for an industry level. Then this requires feedback from the basic science, because depending on the ge geometry that you use for the engineering, the separation will be happening differently. So there is a very tight circle there. And of course, also depending on the device that you have, there will be a different uh, pro product that is, has to be minimized for environmental sustainability. So you have to have a close connection to all the fields if you want to make this work. Great, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Fivos. Thank you, Miri.